Good morning. Okay, we're in a hotel room again. Um, guess where we are? Oh wait, I'm JK. I'm, we're in Houston. <laughs> um, or I'm in Houston. It has been a while since I've been in Texas. I think it's actually been a year. Um, the last time I came was last April, and I feel like it's been a really long time. So um, we're in a hotel. Look at the beautiful view. It's so pretty over here. Um, I walked all the way over there yesterday to the mall. Um, but we're here for a reason. And I'm gonna show you in a second, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, well, on prep obviously right now. So I'm gonna go downstairs to the hotel gym, do some cardio. We're gonna try to weigh ourselves. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you all an exciting announcement um, that'll now be probably announced on my Instagram page a couple days ago, but um, y'all get to hear it too. So um, let's go do some cardio done really quickly. And then let me show y'all how I do my hotel breakfast. We're done. Um, okay, so I did same. We're still doing four by 30 minutes of cardio. Um, so we just did 30 minutes. I did it on the elliptical because I didn't have a stairmaster, and it was so hard to even just like get my heart rate high enough. Um, but they have a pool, and I really want to go to the pool. Obviously, I didn't bring a bathing suit, but it's way, way too cold at home, and I want to go to the pool. So may happen it may happen um anyways so we just finished cardio um they have this machine outside of the cardio of like <laughs> diet coke and it's like a dollar so it's not been helping my diet coke addiction um that it's so cheap in this machine right outside of the um the fitness gym here but i'm gonna get one because it's a little snack and i deserve it it's, it says it's supposed to be 250 but when i got it yesterday it was a dollar let's see what it charges me today like a surprise. How much did you charge me? Oh, no. Charge me 260 today. Bro. Okay, well, I guess it balanced out. <laughs> Yesterday was a dollar, today it's 260. Ugh. Anyways, it's okay. I've got a Diet Coke. Um, we're gonna go get ready for the announcement today. So, see you in a sec. Guys, I wasn't lying. Amazing news. Um, it only charged me. Wait, what was it? It charged me 125. <laughs> Slay. So it charged me 125 yesterday and 125 today. So I basically buy, like, bought one, got one for you. Okay, so this is the outfit for today. Do y'all notice anything? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, I need to sit this down so you can see the whole, the whole thing. But seriously, big announcement. Um, I have now joined Hustle Harder. Um, not only am I a coach on their team now, but I'm also coached by Brandon, which is like the, um, the co-owner, which is Kerrigan's husband. Um, and yeah, so new coach, new coaching company. And it's all just such a blessing. Um, it's honestly amazing to be able to have met these people um, and connected with all the other coaches. And um, yeah, it's just, they're amazing. I mean, their reputation exceeds them and what they know and their knowledge. And I'm excited to be surrounded by people who are ready to kind of like step me up and bring 
my career and my experience as a coach, like my knowledge as a coach up, but also my physique. Um, we were definitely going for a pro card this season. And so I have been all or nothing in my prep so far. And I feel like it's a lot to do with Brandon and how he's been coaching me. So it has been amazing. He's been coaching me for a couple weeks now um, by the time this goes up. And yeah, so this is the fit. And time to go to Alpha Land and record some footage for the announcement you've probably already seen on Instagram. But um, let's go. <laughs> oh pre-workout meal um okay so this is how i do a pre-workout meal first i had no idea but you can um ask the front desk for a microwave if your room doesn't have a microwave so i asked them last night um to bring up a microwave um i came with a singular tupperware which has been my bowl so don't judge me for that i br did bring a scale and this is kind of how i brought my food in like little ziploc bags um so my oatmeal, um, my vegan protein powder, everything like that. Um, and so anything that you didn't want to travel with, like cream of rice, I just felt like it wouldn't have made it here. It would have broke open. I just Uber Eats it when I got here. So um, that's kind of what I do. I bring as much as possible in the sense of my vitamins and all of that. And then if I need to order anything when I get here with Uber Eats, like egg, egg whites, I do. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now um, is we're going to make our pre-workout meal. I wanted to show y'all a little bit about how I do my um, gym makeup routine. I put on a little bit, sorry, my face is, this camera really blurs my face, so you can't really see it, how much I'm breaking out, but um, I'm gonna show you how I cover it up. So I use a little primer. This is everything I do, like going to the gym, um, like my going to the gym makeup look. So let's see, y'all down. I don't know. Anyways, um, so I put a primer on. I do have lashes on right now for the first time and I love them, but I saw this little tip. Oh, where can I sit y'all down? I saw this little tip on um, TikTok and it was like talking about how they do makeup looks for like celebrities. They put a little concealer on their hand and they get like a little stiff makeup brush and then they apparently just tap it on to those couple this couple of pimples. I'm breaking up terribly right now because um, my period's about to start. But yeah, so I pick a couple that are like extremely bad. Um, let me see. And then I'm gonna put a little bit like under my, under my nose. And then all you do, let it dry. And then you blend it in with like a little like fluffy brush. Um, and it's supposed to, I tried it the other day um, for the first time and it honestly like changed the game in the sense of my concealer um just because i felt like i don't know every time i go to the gym I'll, i really don't want to put a ton on usually i mean today it's a little bit different because we're doing like content for me joining hustle harder but um i feel like when i'm going to the gym i just want to cover up like a couple spots and it not have to like put a bunch of makeup on and then i already feel you can't even see it i already feel so much so much better just by doing that so i literally just kind of like blend on top and it covers it up so so well i can't even explain it just it looks like i don't have makeup on which is usually what i want i just want to cover up the redness but oh excuse me we covered up our pimples we have a primer on um i'm not going to do like a full i don't think we'll see where i get to i don't think i'm gonna do a full foundation but i'm gonna use this like flawless filter the like glow thing Honestly, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I saw the samples when I was in um, Sephora a couple weeks ago, and I've just been loving it because apparently, I don't know what, I have a huge knockoff with the beauty blender, but apparently you can put it under your foundation or like leave it alone and put it by itself. And I've been really liking it by itself. I just feel like it just makes me look glowy. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then um, we're gonna do a little bit of just like straight concealer under my eyes. Um, and then we'll do like blush and we'll be done pretty much. Um, but I'm loving these lashes. I haven't, like, I've literally never had lashes where like somebody else puts them on. Like I've always done like little stick on lashes and I'm addicted to these. Okay, so now we're gonna put an actual concealer a little bit under my eye. Um, same thing though, I'm gonna blend it out with a brush. I have, I just found that it works so much better and I just had never seen it anywhere um, until that one TikTok. And it's like, it's a TikTok where it's like Selena Gomez's makeup artist 
I don't even know who it is. She, I need to figure that out because she's amazing. I don't even think I followed her. I just watched a ton of her videos and then knocked out. But she was like, oh, for it not to crease under your eyes, use a brush because it gets in all like the crevices, you know? And I was like, it's perfect for the gym because I make all these crazy faces while I'm pushing really hard and then I feel like it doesn't, it like creases really bad. So I've been just blending it originally with a brush and then I tap it and blend it in. Um, like around the edges mainly, but. And it, I feel like when I'm lifting, it looks so much better. <laughs> Anyways, okay. We're gonna blend that out really well. And then I'm gonna try to get it on my tap of my eyelid. You color that without getting it terribly on my lashes. Okay. Okay, that's what we're looking like. Um, and then next thing, powder. I got a new powder. It's Morphe Translucent Powder. Um, I mainly got this because my other powder, I lost the top of it. And I was like, I gotta stop trying to travel with a, um, a powder that doesn't have a top. So anyways, we're gonna powder this down just because your girl in Alpha Land yesterday looked grease. I looked actually wet the, because it was, why? Well, that's the point, oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, before you come out of me, I know that's the point, but um, it was actually like 80 degrees in there. It was insane. And I'm not from Texas, so I'm going to complain. Um, so the point is, though, um, I'm not used to that. That heat in my face wasn't either, so I was sweating so bad. So we're going to let that set for a second. We're going to get some blush. I love this little, Mor I love Morphe. I forgot about that. Um, I love Morphe. Um, I have this, the blush stick from them, and I literally, I got the bottom of my beauty blender and I put it just on the bottom. I don't put it on my face directly. And then I tap it on. Um, look at me becoming like a makeup guru today. Um, yeah, and then I tap it onto my face from my beauty blender. Because one thing about the, the blush sticks, I find that they actually rub off my foundation concealer that's under it when I rub it straight onto my skin. So that's why we're doing this, I don't know. Um, Beautiful, amazing, never been done before. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of white eyeliner in my tight line. I just put like a tiny bit because it makes my eyes look popped. And then um, I think the last thing is just a little bronzer in my eyebrows. So we're gonna, brush off all that powder and really just make sure my whole face is kind of powdered up just so I don't sweat and grease in my photo shoot we'll sweat during my workout but I don't want to sweat during my photo shoot and then I think we can do eyebrows now I don't really think I'm gonna put any like crazy like contouring or anything on um, one thing I can't live without though is my eyebrows I am getting them microbladed soon um, in April so I'm really really excited about that because I now that I'm I feel like I'm going to love getting my lashes done um, I feel like having my lashes done and then also having my eyebrows done oh my gosh I'm gonna feel amazing I won't have to do anything um, most days versus Right now, I feel like I'm always waking up and having to draw on eyebrows because I look bald. And then if I didn't have my, if I had my eyebrows done, then I had to have my lashes done. And then it was like a whole thing. So usually what I do with eyebrow wise though, because I have no eyebrows, um, I outline it. I used to use both Benefit and then I found that the NYX ones are just as good. So I usually outline with like a thicker eyebrow pencil and kind of fill in on the ends because I'm trying to make up for a lot of surface area that's not there. And then I draw on the rest of the eyebrow with this little tiny one. Um, this is in a taupe. Um, I usually just match my shatter root that they put on my hair. I don't know why. Um, I feel like it looks better. The blondes, I used to do blonde eyebrow brushes when I was in high school. They looked orange. I don't know, I don't know why that is, but. Okay. 
I'm gonna brush them out and put a little mascara on. Okay, we're done with the face. Let's show y'all. Um, oh, I look so pretty. Um, put mascara on my bottom line, put a little lip gloss on. Um, I think we're looking good. I wish I brought like a powder blush, but I didn't. So we're just gonna try to make sure we're as blushed as possible. Um, and I feel so good. So this is a look today. Um, we're of course gonna put a t-shirt on top of this just to hide until the big reveal. Whoa, it was blue. Um, a hide to the big reveal. Obviously that we're with us a little harder. So I'm um, gonna put a t-shirt on and Uber to meet um, Brandon and Kerrigan. Here is that pre-workout meal, um, cream of rice, protein powder, almond butter. So yeah, I literally, I bought a cream of rice packet, some of these almond packets, and I brought my own protein powder with me. And we've been, we've been eating this together. <laughs> It's the next day. Um, we're having some hotel microwavable eggs. And then um, I check out today, but I thought I'd try to include some clips of me and some friends working out because I'm still in Houston and it's the last day. So um, we microwave some eggs and we're packing all of our stuff up. But we are going to um, drop my suitcases and stuff off at Kerrigan's before um, I go work out. I'm gonna go back to Alpha Land. So I'll see what other clips we can include for funsies. <laughs>
gorgeous <laughs> vlog. Been a while. Have you ever been, been in one of my while. vlogs? Actually, no. I think I've started like five vlogs with her in it and I never ended up posting them. Dude, I'm the queen of recording and then never oh. editing it because like, then I end up feeling mm. like I'm boring. Um, but we just did a little workout. Um, I'm snuck inside of the Alpha Elite, like, upstairs. What is this called? The VIP lounge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm stuck upstairs. Um, so we're grabbing <laughs> some energy drinks. Um, but before I go back and um, get some food and things with Kerrigan and Brandon, but had a great workout, got a quick, quick visit. <laughs> um, but we did some powerlifting things today. I'm gonna try. I didn't record anything on my camera about stud lifting, but maybe I'll record, put some of like the phone clips of our workout in. Um, we did some, like a powerlifting little sumo deadlift. Sumo deadlift today, uh -huh. and then we did bodybuilding the rest of the time. But so look at our outfits. We look like Gon and Kilua. Just want to say, like I mean, yeah, I this wasn't even planned. But green, blue. <laughs> I know it wasn't planned. Um, I love it. It's always accidental. I just love wearing blue. Um, but yeah, great workout. Um, Alpha Elite was fun today. It was a lot less busy because it's rainy outside, so that was nice as well. But yeah. So it is Monday. Um, I made it home. I did announce being with Hustle Harder today, and the support was freaking unreal. Um, honestly, I was just like thinking about it, and I was like, holy crap. Like, there is something about, and there's so much power in about being surrounded by people who truly want, they like, have big dreams, but also want the people that are surrounded by them to be successful and um, to grow and be them best, their best selves. And like, I truly think Hustle Harder is, all the other coaches, obviously it's Kayla, and then there's like Kenzie and the owners, like they're all just so, so passionate about the fitness industry and about their clients. And also being knowledgeable. One thing about influencers, not all of them, and I don't want to like shit talk or anything, but I feel like there's a lot of influencers and it's known that they coach just to coach. Um, and it's nice to be surrounded by people who like, you know, posting on Instagram. I'm going to continue. Um, I, it's just so, basically there is a lot of people who coach just to coach and being surrounded by people who actually want to learn, like, the more you're surrounded by people who bodybuild, the less you realize you know. Like, there is endless knowledge, endless circumstances, and, like, oh, there's, yeah, there's so much knowledge to learn to be able to be the best coach possible, and there's things even the best coaches learn every single day, and I feel like being surrounded by people who also want to learn but also have more knowledge than you is so, so important. Um, so, first, number one, excited to be able to learn and be an amazing prep coach and just bring some insane physiques to stage while also being surrounded by people who are passionate about what they do and about living and just, yeah, it is going to be insane. So um, with that as well, Brandon is my new coach this season. Um, he is known for getting people freaking peeled and I feel like that's what's always held me back is not getting lean enough. And so I really did need somebody who is going to kill me. <laughs> So get excited for that, but this is, I really, I just have a feeling like this is the freaking season. So I'm doing everything it takes to absolutely bring my best physique forward. So every day um, I'm working on getting better and better and fine tuning more and more and more and more. And even from like the video that I just posted, I'm like, oh God, there's like so much, like there's, oh, there's just so much more I can give every single day, I realize. And um, it, we're literally 20 weeks out and I'm like, man, I want to give more and I want to give 100%. And, um, so, yeah, we're going to be bringing an amazing season this season, um, and I really do appreciate all y'all's amazing support with me announcing being with Hustle Harder today. Um, really, like, I spoke with them, and I realized how passionate they were and what an amazing thing they're building and the community they're building and about surrounded about working fucking hard. Like, everybody on the team, the coaches and the clients, and everybody is just willing to, willing to put the work in to actually make the results that they want and I think that is so powerful um anyways I'm done rambling but um this is gonna be an amazing prep season um an amazing step in my future in my career being surrounded by um some bodybuilders that are taking the 
literally taking this industry by storm. So I'm very, very excited. Um, lots more content with them and all the other coaches, of course, going to come soon as I lean out over the next couple weeks. I'm going to come back to Houston, of course, and just chat with everybody. So look forward to that. But um, with that, just it's amazing to have y'all on this journey with me. And it's amazing and blessing to be able to share like my endeavors with people um, and my successes like with y'all and like these small wins. Like it's so much more exciting for me able to be, like to share with y'all. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. Um, and yeah, see you next video.